Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of myself playing UWO. Um, I wanted to share some information about Man Man that I learned from uh, some people in the game that has now come to my attention that I've not been doing it wrong, but just not been doing it as good as I could be. Um, nothing of what I've said about the previous Nanban videos is incorrect. All that information is correct. How to unlock it, what you need to do to do the trades, how you do the trades, and the examples that I've given. However, to optimize yourself when you go, there are some things you should be doing. And um, one, of it, one of them I feel like is like a secret trade that I just found out after 14 years of playing this game. And that's NPCs, not non-player characters but something completely different. It's actually a really, really helpful um, uh, item that shares the same letters as NPCs, but those NPCs have a name that's called Nanban Purveyor Certificate. So Nanbayer, Nanban Purveyor Certificates are items that when you use them, they triple the amount of goods you get in return when you do your trade in Nanban. So as an example, with this video I'm showing you here, I've done a trade where, or I will be doing a trade, and I don't show it on camera, but when I go to Taiwan or I go to Macau or to any of the places that I've already unlocked with the proper contribution, with whiskey, by the way, if you haven't done what I've done, done what I said before, please do. Um, when I go to trade them in, I'm bringing like 660 something uh, European armor here, and yet I don't get 100, 666 of some other items. So I had to write one to one trade. Now, you want it to be able to run one to one trade, but the way to get a one to one trade is to use these Nanban purveyor certificates. When you use them, they will increase your return threefold. So, my 222 Dubu Jang that you'll see that I take with me back on this trip um, could have been 666. And if that was the case, then I would be roughly one to one on my ratio of what I've gotten and then significantly increase my profits instead of taking one third of a hit on what I've made. So lesson learned, make sure you have NPCs. Where do you get NPCs? Now, this is a loaded question. During the lunar event that is going on currently in the game, you can buy them from shopkeepers directly in major cities. They are like 10 and a half million ducats to get. That's not necessarily I mean, it's more than what they should be, but they're not bad and they're good to have because hopefully you get more than 10 million in ducats when you do your trade. You hope to get enough of the item. Um, but otherwise, that's one way to get it. The second way to get it is to ask in game through bazaars or through chat asking, hey, does anybody have one? Can I buy one for 5 million to 10 million? Somewhere in that range. That's what you have to do to get them. Or you can get them through company shops. You gotta look to see if they're selling them in your company or other company shops. You can usually get them between five to 10 million again. But it's worth to have it because if you triple your output of your goods, you're going to get triple the amount of ducats and hopefully really um, boost your increase in sales. So not like it's a trade secret, but it's one that I learn. I've been playing this game for 14 years and I'm learning things as I go. That's just one of the things that I've learned. Um, one of the things I also learned that also was a modification of my previous videos, getting those blue flags we talked about, I said that you might have to pay money for it. Yes, you do need to get um, the certificates to pay money for it to get you out of battle for like, you know, 24 hours. But there are like ones you can get in game and it's by battling low level NPCs um, like in land battle or sea battle and you get treasure chests. And then if you get lucky enough to get those treasure chests, which is already hard enough to get, then when you trade them in at the Ganador, uh, person, which I'm not going to show you how to do this, but there is a way to do it. Um, you go to Ganondor, you go to a treasure chest appraisal guy, he lets you do up to five treasure chest appraisals in a day. Um, some of the chests are worth two, three, or four, or five, or one treasure chest appraisal. And when you do the treasure chest appraisal, there's an item inside and there's a chance that it's going to be some sort of uh, pact against no war or pact of some kind. Um, so that's just a chance. And I've done it and I've gotten about four chests and I've not yet gotten one. I've gotten items from it, decent ones at that. I got some POs, which are great for when you're doing trade, but I didn't get the uh, one thing that I really wanted, which was to stop the pirates from attacking me. But anyways, that's just a whole side note. Nanban, this whole video is for really to teach you, do the things that you're supposed to be doing, which 
are maximizing your profits and that's getting these NPCs so you can triple your output of when you bring items. If you want to know how to do that in depth, you can ask in line online. I'll be glad to help. Also, if you go to Ivy Row and you want to know what items to bring, go to the Ivy Row website. You can go there and look at to see what items to bring with you. I bring our European armor. And then if you got areas that are in war, then European armor is worth more and you can get more items for your trade. Also, it depends on the skill that you have and what item you're trying to retrieve. I happen to have a high seasoning skill, which is why I'm able to get Dubu Jang or whatever it is um, pretty easily. Um, so a lot of things to consider, but most importantly, I've learned something secret. Get those NPCs, buy them for five to 10 million whenever you can. Just keep a stock for when you do your NAND band so you can boost your NAND band trade. I do hope this information was helpful. Enjoy the rest of the video and the calming music, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is Chuck Thunder, signing out.